I am sure many of my Edinburgh South West constituents will agree with me that threatening the low paid with sanctions while ensuring that bankers can get bigger bonuses is not a moral way to go about creating growth. Before the Chancellor says that Edinburgh will somehow benefit from this, can I assure him that most of my constituents that work in the financial sector will not benefit from these bonuses? Yeah, yeah. Not content with doing that, he's also attacking the right of low paid people to strike to get yeah. better pay mm -hmm. and conditions. Now, the European Court of Human Rights has recently reaffirmed that under Article 11, the right to strike is a fundamental human right. So, can the Chancellor answer me this question? Can he assure me? that any legislation the government brings forward concerning strike rights will comply with the United Kingdom's treaty obligations under Article 11 of the European Convention on Human Rights. Yeah. The right to strike, there were two measures I referred to in this respect. The right to strike will not uh, be compromised by minimum service levels, nor is it compromised by requiring uh, union bosses to put a ballot to their entire membership ahead of a strike. These are not measures which uh, conflict or in any way uh, militate against the right to strike.